Okay, this session is going to show you, in fact this one is a, um, a remake of the first video that I uh, uploaded here in this uh, channel. Um, it's a remake of the uh, motor control, DC motor control. Uh, I'm going to share with you this circuit diagram. So this is the circuit uh, that I have now. So uh, I'm using a 12 volt DC motor, so I'm supplying uh, there I must have a 12 volt power supply and I have a relay so this is a sample of relay and this is a sample of motor and this is the uh, tooth table uh, mathematical table how do I want to control the motor so what we know is when we supply one side okay, uh, one side will be positive and the other side is uh, negative on the cable then the motor will turn in one direction so this is what uh, uh, shown here, RA, turn on RA and RD, RA and RD, which is supplying a positive and this is supplying a zero uh, uh, ground. So this is the motor will turn in one direction, clockwise direction. Okay, so to turn on, uh, to turn the motor on the other direction, then we have to turn on RB and RC, which is RB and RC. Okay, so we're going to jump to the uh, PLC code here. So before before I start, uh, I'm curious to know what is the program language that you prefer to use. Uh, let me know by commenting below. Okay, I'm going to start a new project. So we just choose at this moment we just choose choose this and the rest of the setting will be uh, no no changes required let's click ok and then uh, the first program that uh, we're gonna write is this we're gonna populate all the code letter code in this uh, in this POU okay so some would prefer to write all the variables Okay, well if you have a I.O. table, then I, I suggest you can do that. So you just speed up times. So if you don't have I.O. table, then uh, probably if you're just testing out something, then you just you just can uh, write the code at the same time. Then uh, you can uh, declare the variable. Okay, and then uh, put in the contact and the coil. Okay. So all this um, for this testing purpose, I'm creating all these uh, variables uh, as local variable. Okay. So what we know this one is clockwise. So, okay, this is auto declaration um, uh, pop up automatically will pop up. So this is based on my preference in this uh, programming environment. So click OK. For this, I want an RA. Okay, click OK. Okay. Next, what we need to do is suggested by the two table is we need to turn on RD for clockwise direction. So just uh, create another run. Then output, and this is RD. Okay. And this one we can just copy. Paste it here. Alright. So the next in the next is uh, with the uh, anti-clockwise direction control. So, so I just copy this wrong and paste it. Okay. So I paste it here. This is supposed to be. You guessed it. It's anti-clockwise. copy and paste it here and for this we need to have we need to turn on rb and rc for anti clockwise direction and rb and rc so rb and rc okay so sorry wrong okay probably just write rc 
Okay. So we can test this one. So we just turn on the simulation mode, then log in and run. So double click, then we can write we can write a value. Okay. This right. Double click again will turn on. Okay, so the program um, is working as we wanted. So we'll log out. Another thing, another element that I would like to add in is the break. So I'm going to opt in, opt for R, R A and R B, depending on supplying a uh, positive potential to the motor. So here I'm going to write a new run. This new run. And uh, I know I want to detect when either of them turn off at a time, then I will turn on this break. Okay, just gonna copy this. And an I, I, I instruction that I'm gonna add in is the this uh, a falling edge trigger. So if I press F2. This one is copy this strong sorry this uh, contact for variable okay. okay so and I would need an output break and uh, Call this one break trigger. Okay, and I like to latch it. So I like to latch this one. Okay. Delete this, okay. Okay, see whether this we'll see what we'll, we'll simulate this whether the program works. Okay, run and double click, right, okay. Direction for clockwise direction. Then this thing off. Okay, it's working. So what we need to do, we need to uh, we need to turn on R R A R A N uh, R A N R B. Okay, so log out from here. So R A. R A and R B. So I'm gonna write this one. R A and R B. Okay, this is break. This over here. Okay. So we're almost there. I'm almost completing the program now. So R A and R B. Okay. Um, okay. There will be one problem here, since um, once it's detected, uh, falling edge, either of these uh, inputs, he will hold, hold on to this. He will latch. So we need something to reset. So for that, I would. Uh, Maybe I'll, I can create another run for and uh, I'll do the same thing as this. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna 
do this. This time, uh, probably a uh, rising edge, rising edge, and uh, depend. I can uh, for this. I I'll, probably I don't create an output for it. You can use this. You can use this to trigger. So uh, this one we call it as a moto start. Okay, so this when this one turns on and the rising edge has to turn off display. So we're gonna put in one, not make close here. Copy, okay. Important things you know press the dot, you need to use the Q. Okay, okay we can try. Simulate now. Run. Okay. So when we run in clockwise. Okay. And we have this turn on. And when we turn off, the brake will turn on. RB and RB. Okay. So when once an anti-clockwise direction is triggered. Okay, the brake is off and uh, now the direction, the anti clockwise direction is, is activated. Okay, so this is how um, simple it is to use this app and to test your program prior uh, to uh, do a field uh, test or before even the machine has has created or the application or the system has created if you like the video please click the like button subscribe to my channel click the notification bell icon and share